Hello, everybody. Uh, we are back with this Dark Souls Let's Play. Uh, it's a new day since I last recorded. And as always with these games, it has been at the front of my mind as I've been doing other things like eating, showering, even sleeping, and getting on with work and, and all sorts of stuff. So I've had some time to think about a lot of things. A lot, a lot of things I'm remembering that maybe I'd forgotten. Uh, the first of which is that I remember after the Deacons fight. Oh, I, I guess first before this, we're, we're kind of stuck right now. <laughs> I've got two bosses that are really difficult to deal with that I'm kind of procrastinating on. Uh, I'm just thinking about other, all the other things I could be doing um, to progress. And yeah, and, and one of the things I remembered was after the Deacons fight, uh, I didn't immediately notice anything. Uh, in the arena, but then after I ported back to that bonfire, I noticed that there was loot on the ground uh, where I picked up the outfit of, like, the head deacon guy. So it got me thinking that maybe there are other boss arenas I should revisit uh, to see if I'd missed anything. Um, so I'm going to do a quick a quick whirlwind tour here of some uh, some old boss zones uh, just to see if there's anything I, I, I missed. Um, and looking through these, one of the ones that caught my eye was the tree boss. I didn't really spend much time in that arena, um, and I might even go to the cliff underside real quick and and run up to that to the top part of that boss arena and see if it's still caved in uh, to see if there's anything on the top level that I might be able to, to see. So I take a trip here really fast. Um, so we might get quite a few loading screens here up at the top, but um, I do want to kind of cross this stuff off my list and and just see everything as possible. I'm, I'm pretty meticulous about that stuff, so sorry if this is a little boring, but. Uh, I am going to play these games how I play these games, so. This looks pretty clear overall. Not much, I'm not seeing any immediate loot. Uh, is this still, okay, this is still opened up. I wonder if there's like a path around up there that like, maybe there's something up top that I'll want to check out. Um, oh man, all these cages. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything here immediately. Um, I'll see if there's anything up in that corner. Okay. Hmm, oh, shit. Uh, what's this gonna do? What the fuck is a vertebra shackle? I don't think I have one of those. Is this like a covenant thing? The fuck? Okay, well, I'm glad I came back here. Even though I didn't get anything concrete out of it. That's some some solid information. I don't have a clue what that's about. Vertebra shackle. Weird. Okay, alright, well, let's uh Let's check the top level of this really quick. Uh, I just want to do a quick run. Um, so that's interesting. Hmm. And let's see. So I, I could check the bonfire of the Abyss Watchers. Um, although, no, I have been back there. Yeah, I, I, I teleported back there when I wanted to go down to the crypts. Uh, so I don't need to go back there. Um... So let's see. What's up with that? Oh shit, wrong way. <laughs> I don't know what those two dudes just died from. That's kind of nuts. I'll take the damage, whatever. Not worried about it. Okay. All right, well, this looks pretty definitive. Looks like I am not gonna be checking out anything on the other side of this arena. Um, all right, so cross this off the list. Shit, that almost looked like a fog door for a second. I thought I might've been getting invaded. What, wait, yeah, what's up with this? I don't remember this being this foggy a second ago. Maybe, maybe it was, I just didn't realize. Shoot, I don't even... 
Yeah, I think the best way back here is probably to run up and go down. And just run through the rats. I don't feel like bust wasting an item right here. Just keep pushing it. To open this cell. I don't remember what was in it though. It was just a, a rescued somebody. Rats can't climb ladders. And here's our bonfire. Okay. So let's see. What else do we want to check out, if anything? Okay. So I'm good on all this stuff. Um, go back and check Bort real quick because I went. I took a trip back to. I took a trip back to this priestess to see if that ladder had fallen, but I remembered a message that I read. Um, I remembered a message that I read that said use torch, and I don't think I tried that last time. So we'll go and cross that off the list as well. Um. And then, <laughs> one more thought I had too, when I was watching back one of my old, uh, one of my first videos, just to make sure things were recording smoothly and uploading correctly. Um, let me actually test it out, because I never actually tested it out. However, when I rest at a bonfire, I'm noticing the pose I'm sitting in. Now, I'm pretty sure I have the rest pose. I think I do. Yeah, I have the rest pose. Now. Oh, wait. And what was, what was that other one? What was this one? Toast. All right. Okay, yeah. I have this rest pose. Um, that lets me sit like this. Now, I was looking for a meditate pose. Uh, when I saw that. Um, when I got that dragon body item. And I said, like, use gesture to find hidden path. I was looking for a meditate pose. I might be able to just use that rest pose, because it was similar enough. Um, so I'll probably go back and try that right now, too, uh, after I check this out. Uh, which, these guys, I'm just going to go ahead and fight them, just because they're cake. Yeah. You're getting kicked. Nice and easy all around. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're going to shield up too, huh? Oh, yeah, this guy shield bashes like crazy, I remember. Oh, shoot, I see... Yeah, I'm definitely going to be up there. <laughs> I see a door. Um, okay, so yeah, so the message the last time said to set this business on Are fire. You Are you not... Is this... Okay. Uh, set it right here. It's so like on this, like, uh, on this lantern. I'm get. This is probably not going to do anything. I mean, this is so specific. And, I mean, but it did work on the windmill in Dark Souls 2, where you set that windmill on fire and it significantly changed things. So, <laughs> as expected, <laughs> nothing. Um, or, or wait, is it nothing? What the fuck? This whole thing is, is getting, si what? Did I just fucking burn down this whole building? What's happening? Uh, sorry to fuck up your sitch, lady, but what else can I set on fire? Can I set all this on fire? Man, that's still just going. I mean, nothing's happening. I, was, I thought it might lower that ladder once I saw it start up, but nothing's really happening. Um...
It's kind of crazy how it spread like that, though. I was not expecting that at all. It's like Far Cry 2 in here. Can I set these pillars on fire? Crazy. I want to see how much this stuff will spread. This is so nuts. This is so nuts. Why is it letting why is it letting me do this if this isn't for anything? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna touch every pillar and hopefully it travels up the top and maybe once it all connects or something, the maybe something'll happen. Probably not, but I don't know, this is kinda cool either way. It's kind of a cool visual. I really loved in Bloodborne, um, when you got to the end, like right up to the end, I, I think it was maybe after you killed, um, uh, Margo, right at the end where you killed the last boss and right before you, you, you talked to Garman, um, where like the, the house is set on fire and everything, it, it, it just visually I loved the way that looked, this kind of reminds me of that. Still got some more pillars we haven't hit. I'm surprised it's, it's like not burning up. I thought it'd just be like a temporary effect or something when this first started. This is this is nuts. <laughs> Nothing that affected that ladder though. But I wonder if this will stay like this. Crazy. I wonder how much other shit I can set on fire in this game. What now what, lady? One. Yeah, set your shit on fire. Alright, well, <laughs> maybe this really is it, though. This looks like something I, I maybe I should, like, push this in, like, push this back or something. Yeah, it looks like maybe that, like, opens up to the... That looks like a track that this thing would either slide on, or it looks like something that this would also slide on and then it would like open up into the floor. Like have a passageway or something. Maybe I need to like put something on these pedestals. Maybe like once I get the Lords of Cinder or something. I don't know. Alright, well, <laughs> that's it for here. I'm just gonna leave this place burning down. Sorry, lady. My bad. <laughs> okay. Cross that off the list for now. Um. All right, next item on the docket. Uh, let's go. Let's go use that rest pose at that dragon place, which is. Remember that was by the cathedral. No. Fuck. Where was that? That was down. Oh man, where was that? I know I took an elevator down from something. Oh, I'm trying to remember where that actually was. Shit, I don't want to like back backtrack too much. Was it the cathedral? It wasn't in here. Oh, was it the cleansing chat? I thought it was later than that. I thought it was in like Irithil somewhere, wasn't it? I think it was Erythil, right? Because the the mountains and stuff. Um. Shit, I don't remember. Okay, I'm actually gonna pause the video here really quick and then pop it up in one of my old videos uh, and just check this really quick. I'm just gonna skim through and see where that was because I for some I'm just having a brain fart right now. I just don't remember. Uh, so I will cut this video real, really fast uh, to ignore this time, but I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. I think I found it. It was. It actually was in uh, the Earthill Dungeon, and I think it was right where that shortcut was. So let's test this out. Man, he's probably gonna come a lot. Okay. Okay, so I think it was down here to the right, I think? Or, no, that was the one that goes all the way down. It was, I think it was the one where I go across and I drop down. Shit. Playing sloppy. For you. Okay, yeah, so I think I go over there and drop down, and then that's the shortcut that takes me there. Yes, yes, pretty sure this is it. Okay. It'd be really awesome if this took me to a new place. <clears throat> um, or maybe it'll take me to like a dragon covenant or something. So, let's check that out. And then if this doesn't work out, man, I guess we're just going to have to fight some bosses, huh? We're going to have to deal with these tough son of a guns. Yeah, because it looks like these dudes... I mean, yeah, these guys are just resting regular, right? Let's pop down. Let's hit the rest. This would be really cool if this works. I might need to let it take a second. Just hanging out. So if it's anything like the undead, going back to like the undead asylum in Dark Souls 1, it took a while for this, this thing to trigger, if this is in fact a thing. Ooh, maybe I need to be in my dragon form. That's another thing that's possible, because that's what this dude's doing. And it gave it to me right here. I'll let this sit for a little bit longer, and if it doesn't work, I'll turn into a dragon. Uh, and then I will do this again. I bet that's where it takes me up there. It seems like an oddly detailed building up in the mountains for, for me to not go there. Okay, alright, let's try it as a dragon. Alright. Um, yeah, let's use it. Oh, wait, I can't use it. Why not? Why can't I use it? Huh. Unlimited use, yeah. Oh, man. Huh? Well, that's weird. I don't understand. Maybe I need to be in the Dragon Covenant to use it or something? Maybe I need to discover it first? Yeah, I don't get that at all. Okay, well... Um, hmm. I don't feel like running back up there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and bust a... Well, I am going to put my homeward bone in that slot. I'm just going to use one. Um, this will probably be a quicker load. Okay, so I might check out a few more locations really quick just to see if there's anything left. Um... Eventually, I'll probably want to run through the catacombs again, just to double check. I, I checked every path. Um, 
but not right now. That's a little bit much. That's a little bit more than what I want to do. Um, so I'm going to travel. Hmm. Let's check Wolner's Wolner's gig really fast. Uh, just to see if there's anything new that dropped in that in that little room. Um, and then after that, we'll go back to the cathedral, and we will fight. Uh, was it Sebastian or something? He had a weird name. Sullivan. We will take a peek at him with our new big shield. I want to try staying close to him with a big heavy shield that has a lot of poise uh, or a lot of stability. Uh, and I want to see if that works out for me. Do a quick run through this room just to... Because what was right out here? What led me to this? Is this where I crossed that rickety bridge? Which is back. That lady that was up there is. Uh, that's a prism stone. That's not something I can pick up. Yeah, that's just a prism stone that marked marked where she was gonna be. I think. Okay, yeah, I remember all this, and uh, I don't think there's anything new from here for me here to see. So let's go fight a boss, and maybe this whole episode will just be. Trying to take that guy down, but hey, it's got to happen sometime. Uh, and I think I'm about as equipped as I'm going to be to deal with it. Uh, now that I've got my strength up to, to use that shield that I wanted. Uh, our weapon might be a little bit upgraded since the last time we fought him, so that's that's good. Um, and we are going to want to go to the church of Yorshka. Let's make progress. So yeah, so I'm going to load up, so my my shield did have what, like 68, 69% fire reduction or something like that. So I'm going to put on my fire gear, just because I'm already, if I'm going to try and block his attacks, then, you know, the the heavy armor and everything like that isn't going to protect me too much more. Because hopefully I'll be blocking his attacks and not taking them. And I could use the stamina, uh, use the stamina recovery. I wonder if, I mean, I doubt it, but I wonder if just having the grass shield equipped, even if I don't have it in my hand, if I just have it on my, like, loadout, if it would give me the, the stamina boost, I, I doubt it. No, no, it wouldn't, because, yeah, when he switched weapons out, it'll, I see effects being added and just removed, so, yeah, that's not going to work. Um, okay, but we're going to put on this big heavy guy. 69% fire, so I'm going to load out the rest of my body with fire, with my fire gear, um, which... Might be the antiquated dress, but let me do a quick one over. See if anything I knew I picked up might be better. Oh, the exile armor is so heavy, though. Yeah, I'll be taping to 98%. Okay. Um, oh, that would just give me some poise. So maybe I should just take the poise. I'll see what else I put on here. Um, what else has got me with fire damage? This might actually be one of my better fire resistant... Anyway, okay, Conjurer's Hood. Okay, let's see what's up with here. Is that the Exile? Uh, Fallen Knight, okay. Antiquated Gloves, much lighter. Okay. Maybe put on the Conjurer's Pants. Oh, but the Exile leggings are better. But I probably won't be able to wear those and the... Hmm. Yeah, see with this, so I'm, I've got some, some room. What if I put on the exile shit now? 84%. Shoot, okay. What if I put on the exile pants? 72%. Mmm. That poise is important. So I'm going to put that on. What if I drop the torch? Oh, it's so close. It is so close. Um, I could drop a ring. So this ring is not going to do me any good. Boom. Got it. I could trigger a flash sweat when I go in there. And just use it for that one. Still can't turn into a dragon, so I don't know what's up with that. I'm just going to go ahead and take that off. Um, I'm going to put that on this bar. Just so I can always see if I can use it or not. 
So whenever I, if that ever shows up as something I can use, if I'm in, oh man, that shield is big, huh? I can still dodge, still block. All right, we'll try it this way. We'll see how it goes, trying to get close to him. Um. Ha. And let's go. Let's not wait any longer. Let's get back in the action. Let's get some fight. Let's hopefully make some progress here. Because this is a fight I feel like I could actually win if I if I do well enough. That Yorm fight, man, I still just don't even know. So unless one of my puzzle ideas... Unless one of those puzzle ideas works, I, I am just totally at a loss for how I'm going to approach that. So... Just push right in. I got 10,000 souls, so I mean, that's good. I'll probably want to retrieve my souls on these and stuff, but. Wait for him to trigger that. Let's get up in the mix. What's up with you? Get out in the open. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't like that one. Don't like you breaking my target lock. Uh, hey guys. Uh, strategy working off. What? No, 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 no. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Shit. Heal, 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 heal. Okay, gotta get close, gotta get close. What's this? What's this? What are you doing? No, no, no. Why are there two of you? Fuck. Okay, that, that one's almost dead, though. Okay, okay. Shit. Get close to you. Okay, I killed the clone. Killed the clone. Close, give me a close. Shit, God, I hate that thing. Come on. Come on. Shit. Okay, okay. I'm surprised I actually hit him right there. I thought it was too far. Don't get greedy. Oh, I almost got greedy. It almost hurt me. No, 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 no. Oh! I'm so close to killing this dude. Let's go! Let's go! Fuck yes! Oh, that's crazy! That... <laughs> I fucking love when, you know, you just take your time, you formulate a strategy, you figure out what's going on, and it just fucking works. That feels good. That really feels good. Oh, man. Just first try. Only had to use, like, two flasks. Fuck yes. I hear Crystal Lizard. <laughs> I heard a Crystal Lizard. It's probably up there. Do these doors open. Oh, man, all right. Gosh, that was such, like, a big roadblock for me before. Who knew? All he had to do was get up in his grill. Couldn't take the heat. Let's go ahead and travel back. Whew, big relief. We can make progress. I thought this was going to be an episode of just housekeeping and getting bludgeoned by that thing, but here we are. <clears throat> okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and level up. Welcome home, speak there. Very well, then touch the take Nari. Okay, let's, um... Let's pump some more endurance. Endurance is always big. Farewell, maiden. Okay, I beat a new boss. Is anybody here gonna say something to me? 
Um, Crestfallen Warrior's gone. This guy's up here. Oh yeah, let me check. Uh, let me check out that soul description really fast. Yes. Pontiff Sullivan of Irithil imprisoned a god of the old royalty in the abandoned cathedral to be fed to the devourer, which is ah oh, fuck, I don't remember his name. The goo, the goo man. Um. Okay. Doesn't tell me too much about about him. What do you have to say? Invade and if come on, give yourself. <laughs> I want to find her. I want to find her, homie. Fucking patches hadn't gotten in my in my mix. Okay, let's uh, let's talk to homeboy up here. See what he's got to say about my new soul. Oh, yep, yep. Yes, I do have a new soul. Uh, what is new? Is this new? No, that's the sage. Um, here we go. A profaned great sword. That seems okay. Ceremonial sword held in Pontiff Sullivan's right hand, representing the profaned flame. Long ago, when Sullivan was yet a young sorcerer, he discovered the profaned capital and an unfading flame below a distant tundra of Irithil, and a burning ambition took took root within him. Okay. Uh, profaned flame. Temporarily summon the profaned flame, lunge forward, and use strong attack to enshroud blade in flame. That sounds cool. Um, <clears throat> and then I assume his dagger is also somewhere. Or the, yeah, the, the magic sword. A ceremonial sword held in Pots of Sullivan's left hand, representing the judgment of the moon, but with magic far closer to sorcery than any existing lunar power. Uh, its dark blue hues, deeper than the darkest moon, reflects Sorcerer Sullivan's true nature. Stance of judgment? Assume stance to unleash dark magic. Use normal attack for lunging thrust and strong attack to emit side-sweeping wa side wave, which uh, I think I saw him and his clone do. Um, okay, so I mean that seems cool, but it's probably an int, yeah, an int requirement, and probably scales with int. Uh, this might be something I could I could check out. Uh, it's got decent uh, damage right out of the gate. Uh, maybe if I leveled it up. But if I level up anything, I'll probably level up Artorius' sword. Uh, the wolf. The wolf greatsword. Uh, yeah. This thing. Because it doesn't do as much damage, but... Man, it's just so cool. <laughs> so maybe I'll waste the mats on it. I'll, I don't know. I'll see. I'll probably wait to upgrade that stuff until I, I see some more of this stuff and, and make sure there's nothing else I really want to spend those materials on because if all they ever come out of is crystal lizards and the crystal dragons, then, you know, it doesn't seem like I'm going to get too many of them. Most fine kindling for the throne and... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Woo! Okay, so now that I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my way of the blue. I'm going to get back to my regular old get up. I'm going to get the rest of that dark set. I'll have to go farm some of those uh, dark wraiths sometime. Unless they just drop a specific people, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, I think I'm all set. I am. Um... Alright. I have some room to wear some heavier shit, though. Probably not that heavy yet. Nope. Yeah, but I can't be wearing... I can wear this. That's pretty cool. What else? Can I, can I suffer the pants as well? Ooh, barely can't do the pants. That gives me some poise, though. What about the arms? I bet I can do the arms. Yeah. All right. So let's keep, uh, let's keep pushing forward. Got barely any souls to care about at all. Bonfire level 8, 6. Level 6. Still don't know what that really means. Um, but yeah, let's push forward out of Sullivan's place. And see if we can get down to fight our, or at least discover our next lord. And in that case, that'll be all the lords I know about. So I already took care of the Abyss Watchers. And then, uh, Yorm. Maybe I'll go in, in against him with a great shield too. Maybe I can actually block that shit and make that a fight. I mean, if anything, I'm feeling pretty motivated right now where it seems like my idea paid off. 
So maybe my strategy for him will work too. I, I haven't gone back since I really sat down and thought about it. Um, okay. Ooh, I, I took my ring off, I remember. I should have plenty of room for that. Well, maybe not plenty, but I do have room for it. I hear Crystal Lizard. Oh, I hear, there's two of them. Shit. Well, this one ran first. Let's get... Oh, no. Oh, no. Quickly Titanite. That one got away. I'll get that one next time. Yeah, I, I was worried about it going in, in there. I didn't think I'd be able to attack it because stuff looked like I might have recoiled when I hit the pot. Okay, let's get this. Large Titanite, alright. I think I fully upgraded fully upgraded my butcher knife, didn't I? Or do, do I still have one more to go with that? No, yeah, that's upgraded. Uh what, what damage am I doing here? I'm doing two about two eighty. Yeah, what's what's this doing? Oh man, this is almost Yeah, mm, yeah, it's pretty close. It is pretty close. About 290, 291. So yeah, pretty. I'm gonna have to bust out that uh, that butcher knife a little bit more often if I'm if this if this broadsword is ever just not doing it for me. I'm not summoning. Oh wait, is that? That's not the actual guy, right? Let me touch it and see what it says. Pig destroyer. No, 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 no. I didn't want to actually summon you. No, 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 no. no. I'm just gonna quit. I'm just gonna quit. I'm out. <laughs> I don't want to black crystal you. I just wanted to see what his his name was. <clears throat> oh wait, maybe I didn't summon him. Maybe his summon sign just was um because someone else summoned him or it became unavailable. Oh well, <laughs> I didn't want to break my rules, <laughs> and I didn't want to be a jerk and just send him away uh, with a black crystal. Um. So yeah, I just wanted to see it, that like the helmet looked a lot like the um, the homeboy that went missing in the the catacombs. I don't remember what his name was uh, that the lady was looking for. It looked like his helmet, so I was like, "Well, oh, maybe is this dude?" I wanted to see if it was that dude, but Pig Destroyer is clearly <laughs> clearly not him. All right, we're back. No harm done. Oh, and the crystal crystal lizard is back. So let's let's get that now. No, 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 no. Yeah, hurt him over there. Hurt him over there. There we go. There we go. Oh, I planned it all along. I just wanted the lizard. Okay. I wonder if I'll go up there. Okay, but let's keep uh, let's keep pushing forward. Just waiting for when they finally spring enemies on me again. Okay, I'll make sure to come back for that. What are these? Are these alive? That's a lot of giants to fight if these guys are alive. I think I hear one of them breathing, living. Can't target this one. Yeah, at least one of these guys is alive. I'm trying to see if any of them are moving. Oh, the one in the very far back right. I bet he's alive. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's see what's down here first. Okay, so we got some more invisible dudes. Oh, these buttresses so remind me of Anna Orlando. I wonder if I will have to run up any of them. Oh, okay, I fought you guys with the, uh, the Deacons. Let's go ahead and push through over here. Let's get this treasure. That we already know about. Okay. Oh boy. These guys have some range, huh? Want to eliminate dead ends first, and this looks like it might be more of a dead end this way, so let's. Oh! So let's check this out. Okay, we are upstairs from the Sullivan fight. Yeah, man, this is so. Everything about this just reminds me of Anna Orlando. It's awesome. I see a crystal lizard over there. 
let's go ahead and do that. I've got to think there's more to this upstairs area than just this upper thing for a crystal lizard. It seems a bit elaborate just for this one thing, so hopefully there's more up here. Simple gem. Still don't really know what's up with the... Oh, wait. Oh wait, no, that's just okay. There's that door. Hmm. Check out these chandeliers. See if there's anything I should shoot. Oh, this looks like something. Yeah. Okay. I mean, pretty, pretty small short shortcut, all things considered, but. I say you want oh I took my torch off I forgot Ooh, do I have room for my torch now with all this armor on that'd be kind of a bummer if I didn't dang it oh of course of course I'll go back to the dark the dark arms okay Is there one of these on the other side too no it's a pretty small shortcut but I guess I'll appreciate it all the same oh I don't know if it has a I don't know if I saw a lever down there to actually return this, so... Go ahead and play the smart. I'll hit it and leave it for the next time I need it. I'll just have to remember to do that every time. Okay, uh, okay that's probably... Treasure ahead It's probably a mimic, right? Gotta be a mimic. Yep. Things seems to be a viable strategy for these things. Just uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 no. All right. Golden ritual spear. Let's see what's up with that. A ritual spear presented to Dark Moon Knights before Sullivan claimed the title of Pontiff. It can also be used as a staff. Sorceries cast using this weapon channel the wielder's faith. Okay. It seems like the Dark Moon folks might be in here somewhere. The the Covenant. Maybe underground. Alright, that seems like this uh, about wraps up this area. Let's head back out. Now, do we deal with the Giants or the Deacons? I'm going to say the Deacons. I'm going to get rid of these fools. They seem to have... I think all they really do is fire, so if I just... I'm pretty good about dodging. This may not be too bad, but there are a lot of them. Yeah, whatever. I fought like 90 of you guys at once. I can do this. Fire damage isn't too bad. All right, you guys attack melee. Shit. Go ahead and back up. Go ahead and back up. Go ahead and heal up. Ah, oh, I thought I might have dodged it. Okay. All right, well, we'll get you. Ladder down. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I went up here first because these guys would probably be shooting fireballs at me the whole time I was down there, wouldn't they be? Oh, shit. Well, these trees seem to give me some cover, so that's cool. Man, that guy timed that shot pretty well. Pretty good work of these guys. Last time I was up here, I thought there were two of those fat guys. Maybe I just missed saw them in the in the group, but oh hey, you're a real life man. Wait, are are you the source? Oh what? 
I don't I don't know you. Go away. You look like the guy that's like the Vinheim guy that's back in my my fire link. But neither of you can block, so. I don't know what you want with me! Shit, okay. Alright, decent. Let's go ahead and heal. Shit. Oh, I am in the way of the blue, but that that's Aldrich Faithful Ire. That sounds like uh Sounds like it might be a computer player. Okay, their enchantments wore off. Shit, I hear a I think I hear the invader. Oh, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Where is this invader? Drag twin spears. Okay, cool. So, this leads me even more to believe that this is a, an NPC invader because... Oh shit, he's getting hurt somewhere. How? Or maybe it's not an NPC invader, he just seems to be running away. Human dregs. Why was this guy getting hurt before? Are you a real man? He's kind of lagging like a real guy. Yeah, this is, I think, a real guy. As usual, the lag is real. I totally hit that guy first. What the fuck? Come on. Yeah, let's go. One hundred percent on the invasion front. So Aldrich Faithful, maybe it like tells you their covenant, because like I <laughs> seriously doubt that that's that that's that dude's name. Um, why isn't that fog door going away? I beat the invader. Am I being invaded again? So yeah, maybe that. Um, Maybe this is kind of like a bell tower situation or something, or like a forest, a forest situation from Dark Souls One, where like maybe the Aldrich faithful like are summoned here to protect Aldrich. Um. Cause yeah, every time I get invaded by someone, oh, are you <laughs> with the buttress with the archer? Of course. Such a callback. Wow. Okay. Um. Okay, well. I've covered the top. Looks like I want to take care of this before I move on. All right, well, let me check if there's a bonfire in here, actually. Let me just peek in this room. Oh. Oh, cool. Hmm. Okay, well, I am going to rate this up. Good. Good. You seem like someone who just put this further back to try and ape the appraisals from those guys, so I'm not giving you one. Uh, but let's see if there is a bonfire up here before I push out and take on those giants, because that might be a tough fight. Okay, 
That's always good. Ooh, I can get over there. Oh. Alright, well, here's where I do the buttress run against these jerks again. Those are some really wide buttresses, though, so hopefully it won't be as much of a chore as the as the Dark Souls 1 Black Knights. Guy's still shooting at me, huh? Okay, no treasure there. Double check back here. Okay. Yeah, that one's definitely alive. This one might be too. Check this again. Okay. Let's check this side. That's a purple flower. Okay, all's well so far. Now. Okay, one of these guys definitely seems alive also. I bet when I pick up that treasure, one of these guys will spawn. And then when I pick up that treasure over there, one of those guys will, will stand up. I don't think it's you. I think it's you right here. Please be worth it. I was wrong. None of them stood up. Okay. Um... Oh, okay. That's the one that's alive. So I wonder if I pick up that one. Oh, don't even need to pick it up. Just once I get close. Let's go ahead and try and fight him. Oh, yeah, I actually did pretty decent damage on that. He keeps going for a while, huh? Tired himself out. It's classic. All right. Give me something cool. Uh, tight. 800 souls. I could have spent for that. Okay. There's still another one that's alive. I think it's probably this guy. Oh, shit. This one's alive. Where he does his rampage. Yep. Tire yourself out. Nice and easy kill. All right. Big damage on the head. Is anyone else still snoring? All right. I think that's it. Cool. That was that was not nearly as bad as I thought it might be. I'm going to check one thing really quick inside here because it looked like this tunnel went on for a while. I thought there would be another entrance down here on this side. So let me check this. Oh, right. Yeah, it was all these. It's all these dudes. Yeah, so where does this go? Oh, okay. It's just a treasure. Glad I went back and looked at this. Dark stone plate ring. So that's probably just dark damage, I assume, but let's, yeah. Stone plates are symbols of true knights, and dark purple stone plates are granted to undead knights. Okay. I'm still not quite sure on the difference between, like, damage absorption versus damage just, like, why didn't it just damage reduction? Like it used to be. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's a system I don't totally understand all the intricacies of yet. But okay, so that way was nothing. All right, just one way to move forward. Hopefully, I'll get a bonfire soon. 
Oh wait, yeah. Let's let's go down here first. I want to check out this this illusionary wall. Maybe this will be a bonfire. Sounds like there's more than one of these things. That's one of the things I fought on the bridge right when I entered this zone. I don't really want to fight two of them at once. <laughs> so maybe I can lure one over. Yeah. Yeah. These guys are tough. And I don't really see a bonfire coming out of this. What's up with this guy? Nope, nope, not the not the dark sign. Didn't I, nope, nope, I'm all mixed up. There. Hmm. Wonder if that's like a covenant item I get over there. Maybe that's the Aldrich Faithful stuff? Who knows? Okay. Ah, so so tough, so tough, so tough. Um, because I got 27,000 souls. I could probably get back here really easy, though, because I could just run right by those giants and right up down in here. Let's do it. It's almost near the end of the episode, so let's, let's figure this out real quick, and then I might call it an episode down here. Let's see if we can just draw one of them out. He really not push me? Fuck! Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh, fuck me, dude. This is fucking rough. I just got eaten. I just got eaten. That this this is a rough spot. <laughs> this is a rough spot. <clears throat> Man, I might have to just go back down there and hold more bone out or something. Uh, but I will I will do that at the start of the next episode. Oh, I was really hoping I could leash just one of those guys at a time. That's a rough group. Maybe I'll try and just pick up my souls and run over to that corner where that guy was and just see if I can pick up anything off his body. Um, but that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, I will see you guys next time.